All right, so in this video, we're gonna prove that the sum of a nilpotent element and a unit is a unit. So to start, we have uh, this nilpotent element x, and we know that there exists um, some n greater than or equal to one, such that x to the n is equal to zero. Um, and a little trick that will be useful to us is that uh, if n is uh, odd, we want to replace n with uh, n plus 1 because we want an even exponent. Um, so we can set n to be equal to, you know, n if n is even and then n plus 1 if n is odd. Um, and then it's still going to be true that x to the n is equal to 0. So we'll do this for convenience. But now um, we want to consider x plus u. And our trick is that we want to multiply this by the following expression. So we want to multiply this by x to the big N minus 1 minus x to the big N minus 2u plus dot, dot, dot. And uh, this is going to end with uh, minus, um, we'll have x u to the big N minus 2 plus u to the big N minus 1. And uh, the reason that this is going to end in a plus always is because um, the last uh, coefficient here is negative 1 to the n. And um, we constructed n so that uh, n is even. So this is always going to be a plus at the end. Great. Uh, but now we want to notice that if we FOIL out this expression, so if we multiply all of this out, um, most of the terms cancel. Right, so like if I multiply x times this term right here, I'll get x to the big N minus 1 times u. But also if I multiply u by um, x to the big N minus 1, I get the same thing. Um, and with this one, I have a negative, And with the other one, I have a positive. So um, all of these terms basically cancel down. And the only thing that I'm actually left with is x to the N minus u to the n at the end. Uh, sorry, x to the n plus u to the n. Um, but we know that x to the n is 0, so this is just equal to u to the n. Great. But now we know that u is a unit. Um, and so um, in particular, u has an inverse. And so there's a, an element so that if I take u to the n, and I multiply it by u inverse to the n, that this is just equal to 1. And so in particular, that means that if I multiply this expression by u inverse to the n, right? so now this is going to be x to the n plus u to the n. And then I'm also going to multiply by u inverse to the n, that this is going to be 1. because I have u to the n, u inverse to the n. Um, and so what that means is that this entire expression here is an inverse for x plus u. And that proves that uh, x plus u is a unit. And so we are done.